Turn this on and I'm gonna measure the bores, zero it. I need to know what size this, this bore is. This bore is four inches. So I'm gonna set this at half of that or two inches. And I'm gonna bring this in so I set this dimension at two inches and then tighten this set screw. So I know my legs now are all set at the same length. And I'm gonna slide this adapter onto the post. And I'm gonna put this leg, and I'm gonna put that so, when I turn this and bring it up against that dowel pin, it pushes that leg in. And then I'm gonna pick this up, and I'm gonna turn it and put another leg in. Now I'm gonna take the adapter off and I'm gonna turn it over so the other two legs will be on the bottom. I don't want to over tighten these bolts, but I want them snug. Target's going to go in here, and the dowel pin is going to fit in the slot. And then we screw the handle on the back. This is a weighted handle. Release it, and the weight of the handle is going to hold it into the bore. Now, these are self centering adapters. There is no moving parts here. These are designed so this board can get larger or smaller by 20, 30, 40 thousandths, and it'll still remain in the center because this pivots, and we're measuring right here where the, at that pivot point. Now I'm gonna take the 111 stand, and I'm gonna put this in the stand, and I'm gonna level it from side to side and then I'm gonna turn the readout on. And I'm gonna slide this over, watching that readout, till I'm somewhere close to zero. 10 thousandths is good. Get my vertical numbers a little closer by moving the whole thing up and down. And using the course adjustments on the 111 stand, I'm going to adjust that beam sideways until I go into the opening. And I'm going to bring that down somewhere as close to zero. Then I'm going to take it back up to the near point. Now I'm going to put the beam translator on and I can fine tune this. The beam translator has this handle on the top that if I turn this, I change my horizontal numbers. If I tip it one way or the other, I change my vertical numbers. And then there's fine adjustments here. I'm gonna fine tune here to zero. So in the fire bore, now I'm within 2,000, so I'm gonna use the fine tune micrometers and steer this to zero. So I'm within one. So now I'm gonna change this to four decimal places. And then I'll fine tune my zeros. Fine tune the right, right down to zero. Okay, now I'm gonna take it to back to the far point, the far bore. Again, using the fine adjust right down to zero. I've always put this in the back of the, the rear of the bore here, the back of this far bore, and the front of the near bore. 
So I want to see what kind of angle I have in this bore. I can put this one in the rear because I know I'm zero in the front. If I look in the rear, I can see this is tilted down two thousandths of an inch in the back. So the bore isn't quite parallel to the center line. The same way here, I measured in the back, in the here back here. I'm at pretty much at zero. So if I move this to the front, I can see I'm two thousandths low in the front. This is the opposite. So we can actually measure the angle of the boards that way as well. Now I can go to the bore in the middle, and I can see this bore is 29 thousandths low, and it's 15 thousandths to the left. 15 on the side. Now I put it in there. And within the thousands up and down, I missed it a little bit sideways, but I know why that is, it's just the fixture. But that's how you make the adjustment. You have live readings. If I didn't have to take this out, I could leave the target right in there and make the adjustments and watch the numbers. So that's how you do bore alignments using the external 706.